if and when could they turn around their popularity? Well, they certainly could, but I think it would take a huge amount of effort. Let's just have a look at the state of the poll, shall we? So at the moment, the Labour Party is polling anything between 45% and 51%, I think is the highest poll rating that they've had so far. Uh, the Conservatives, meanwhile, are languishing on around about 23 to 28. Uh, there was one poll, I think, put them at 32, perhaps a little bit of an outlier. Then we've got the Lib Dems on eight or nine, and then the other mi minor parties making up the rest of the percentage. So not really any strong show for minor parties making a breakthrough, I don't think, yet at the next election. So, yeah, it's looking extremely bleak for Rishi Sunak. Um, ben Walker of Britain Alex has done some quite interesting research talking about how people who are core Conservative voters might very well say they're going to vote Labour in the mid of a parliamentary term, but then they revert back to type. But uh, And, of course, it works the other way as well. But the swing there is only around about 9%. So, yeah, looking really, really bad. What could he do? <laughs> I don't really think he could do anything apart from a major volt fast, really, and I don't think that's going, going to happen. We've got a Conservative government that in many ways is behaving very much like a Labour government. We've got the highest taxation burden in 70 years. We've got very high public spending. We've got a big state. Um, we've got an absolute failure to control immigration. So it is perhaps also odd that Conservative voters are swinging to Labour because, mm. to be honest, you can't really put a cigarette paper between the two no. of them at the moment. Uh, and I think the only way that... Sorry, sorry, Bev. Go I on, did Tim. interrupt you. Sorry. No, no, no. It's OK. I just want to bring Peter in as well. You must be delighted we've got a socialist government. <laughs> We don't at all have a socialist government. I don't accept the idea that you can't put cigarette paper between Labour and the Tories. <coughs> Excuse me, but let's not go over old ground. I think the reason uh, Labour won't be complacent at all to pick up on some of the polling information that's very interesting is also uh, not just midterm, but the number of don't knows. So we see this humongous Labour lead. You know, it reaches Blair-like levels of above 20 percent. You know, Ed Miliband got above 10. So if you're getting above 20 percent, it's looking really good. But first of all, excludes the don't knows and they're going to crystallize or not vote so um that's one reason not to be complacent secondly the government can do things uh, whereas the opposition can only announce things so we already know um from the leadership election that um inflation was really sunak's priority coming into office now we have the small boats crisis as well now i, I don't think richie sunak is the right man to handle it and i don't think he's got the answers but you can expect you know, basically from January the 1st, measure after measure after measure on inflation and small boats crisis. Mm. I don't think he's got the tools to resolve these problems, but an awful lot is going to change. And there may not be an election in 20, you know, for 10 or 11 months, but mm. obviously it's a brave person who makes predictions these days.